Welcome to the Aptos Airdrop Guide. In this, we'll take you through all the different elements of completing the Aptos Airdrop, which means that you'll hopefully be able to receive their token when they release the rest of it. So first of all, you need to pick an Aptos wallet. We're gonna be using Petra, as that's the one I am already familiar with and use on a daily basis, as you can see here. So first of all, once you've added it to Chrome, you're gonna click Create New Account and choose a password. That will be able to log you into the wallet. Then you'll be given a 12 word phrase, which you must ensure you keep safe as that's the only way of locking, logging into your wallet if you've ever lost your password. And also if someone else gets hold of that, they can take all your crypto. So it's really important not to lose that phrase. So as you can see here, you have your wallet address and the Petra app in your Chrome extensions. So now what we're gonna to need to do is get money onto our Aptos wallet. So you must use the Aptos bridge as that will be one of the qualifications for the airdrop. It's a good idea to use multiple bridges, but I would ensure that you use the Aptos one at least once. So what you can see here is I've connected my MetaMask account, which is where I'll be sending the money from. And I've also connected my Petra account down below, which is what will be receiving the money. So this is me sending money from my MetaMask to my Aptos wallet so that I can now complete the challenges. Now we're going to click transfer and as you will see you will get an option to confirm in your wallet so once you do that it will submit the transaction and as you can see it shows transaction submitted. It will now take about 15 minutes to show in your Petra wallet so don't worry if you don't see the money instantly. Once completed you'll see a notification showing you it's complete and you can click on your Petra wallet and you should see a very small amount of Aptos plus the WETH that you transferred over. Obviously we've only used one of the bridges, but it's a good idea to use them all as it will just help boost your ranking and make you look like a more legitimate person. But for now, we'll move on to swaps so you can see how that works. Let's go with Pancake Swap first. As you can see, you just connect your wallet in the top right hand corner and then select what you would like to swap for what other crypto. So we have WETH in our account, so we're gonna start with that and we're gonna swap that for either USDC or USDT. So for this, we'll go with USDC. As you can see, I just type that in and click swap. We're gonna get an option to approve in our Petra wallet and that will do the rest for us. This will happen pretty instantly and as you can see, yes, the money is already in our account. Now we're gonna swap our USDC to Aptos and this will give us two transactions and help boost our score. As you can see, this is now done, and now we actually hold Aptos in our Petra wallet, which will help us with all the rest of the challenges that we have to do. So I'll show you one more example of a swapping mechanism, and let's use this one for that. So once it's opened, the same principle, just agree to the terms and conditions, connect your wallet, and then you'll have the option to transfer your Aptos, which you now own, into another. When I do decide to swap, what I prefer to do is not swap the entire balance. This is so I always have some money left over for gas, or if I suddenly need to use the token for something else, and if you've completely run out, you'll have to bridge more, which will end up costing you more. So as you see, I only use about 60, rather out of the 60 sits that I have. As you can see, the same principle, you click confirm, that does that. I now have the USDC in my wallet, as you can see. And what I'll do is I'll actually just swap that back to Aptos so that I don't lose any fees and that I get an extra transaction making me look like a more real person and ranking me higher in there. Now, I will just show you one thing to look out for when you're choosing to swap, and that is if you choose a currency that's not USDC or USDT, it may not have enough liquidity in order to provide the full value. So as you can see here, if I confirm this, I'd actually be swapping $600 for $250 worth of the other token. Be sure not to make this mistake as you could lose all your funds. And as you can see here, if I chose to swap, the token would actually be valueless. So I would lose all the money that I decided to trade. It's essential you always watch out to see what the value of the token you're going to get is and make sure it's the same as the value that you're swapping it with or about $1 difference, which allows for the fees. As you can see here with WETH, it works perfectly. Now that's complete, we're gonna head over to one of the NFT marketplaces. So starting with Topaz, we're going to connect our wallet, which again will be Petra, and just approve that. Click the explore on the top, 
And all we're doing here is trying to find a project that has a really, really cheap floor price as all the points are based on is the fact that you have bought an NFT. It doesn't matter how much you paid for it. Okay, so therefore, we're just gonna scroll down a little bit. What I have sometimes found is the first couple of sales or the first couple for sale have glitches and they don't actually let you buy it just due to the marketplace. So as you see here, I picked the third item. Sometimes you will be able to pick number one or two and I just click purchase as you saw on screen. Now heading over to the second marketplace. Again, I'm gonna connect my wallet, Petra at the top. I'm gonna to approve. And again, I'm just gonna pick a different NFT this time, but I'm gonna find one that has a really low floor price, which doesn't cost me much. In most of these circumstances, it's two or three dollars to pay for the NFT. So here we have one 0.035 Aptos, which is pennies. All we're gonna do is click on this blue button there, which will open up the option to buy now. We tap buy, tap confirm in wallet, that brings up our confirm as you'll have seen many times now. Click approve and that's the purchase successful. So as you can see, it's really easy and it's just a matter of repeating these steps and ensuring that your account has interacted with as many different apps as possible. So in this list here, we've provided quite a few that you can apply to and another NFT one that I'm doing here, but I will continue to provide more in the channel and update as more apps become available for you to buy, sell or trade on. Next, we're gonna head back to our Discord guide and click on the Aptos name service. Here, you'll just be able to purchase any name you want unless it's already been taken. I'm gonna just choose first to notify as that's what I pretty much always choose whenever I do this. This will cost one Aptos, so please bear in mind this stage does cost $7, but very, very often is a qualification in order to receive the airdrop. We've seen this many times that they do require this and it adds as a multiplier. So for one Aptos, if you do get the airdrop, it's very, very likely to be worth it. As you can see, that happened all within about a few seconds. So now we're going to lending, borrowing and staking, and I'll show you this in a second. Now we're gonna head over to Merkle Trade, which is one of the DEXs in the guide we provided. And all this is gonna be is effectively trading futures. You're gonna open and close the trade very swiftly so that you're not putting your capital at risk. Um, but please bear in mind that obviously there can be moves in the market which would put your capital at risk, which is why I'm only gonna risk $4 on this. If you don't already have USDC, you can use one of the sh platforms we showed earlier and trade some of your Aptos into USDC, as you will need that in order to trade. As you can see here, I had a few difficulties, but finally managed to get it to work. You need to have at least $500 worth of position size in order for it to work, but that was only me risking $4 with 100x leverage, or 150x leverage, I should say. So that has now put the trade in place, and actually you start to gain points on this website as well. So what you might find in the future is this site themselves do an airdrop, and then not only have you qualified for the initial Aptos airdrop, but you also qualify for this apps at a drop as well. So if you choose to do a few transactions on this, it wouldn't be a bad idea. But don't look at these trades as a way to make money. Just look at them as completing the challenges for the airdrop. As you can see, our trade finally came into a tiny, tiny bit of profit, which is literally a matter of 30 cents, but that was enough for me to close the position and be happy with it. You get more points if you're on a winning streak, so that's why I wanted the trade to be a winner before I decided to close. However, it doesn't really make too much difference. Now we're gonna come on and show you the lending and borrowing services, so we're just gonna click on Aptin, and as we've seen before, we're just gonna connect our wallet as we always do, which will be the Petra wallet, we're then going to head over to your dashboard and then we're going to look at the assets that we have to supply. So as you can see, I have a few assets here. If you don't, you can use any one of the previous swapping tools that I've shown you earlier in the video to swap to one of these. I'm going to select all of it and I'm going to state that and click approve. And I'm going to do that with another one of the assets that I have as well. So as you see, I come back to the dashboard, I select the one I want to use, so T Aptos, click on that, click supply, and hit maximum, confirm, and again, just confirm in the wallet. And we're now supplying two different types of cryptocurrency onto this network. Now this time we're gonna click on borrow, and we're only gonna use three, as you do have to pay an APY, so just be aware of that when you're choosing it. And we're lending more than that, as you can see, we're actually lending 5.6. So once you've clicked borrow, 
click confirm, okay close, and that's you done for that whole marketplace. And you can pretty much leave that in there for the next few weeks before you decide to take it out. And that will qualify you having lent and borrowed money on their ecosystem. So that's all finished and that's our guide complete. I hope that's really helped. And as always, let me know if you have any more questions.